always tried was that hand kissing business. <laughs> hey, that isn't a pass, is it? No. Is it, Helene? What? If a man kisses your hand, does that classify as a pass? Well, that depends. On what? On where your hand is. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, it's not my fault you've never met one. Hey, if he's always trying to kiss your hand, maybe he is out to something. Like what? Your wristwatch? <laughs> the only thing Oscar's after is inner contentment, and he wants me to help him find it. Honey, you sure have picked up a couple of hundred dollar words since you've been hanging around with this goofball. <laughs> Oscar is not a goofball. He's a highly educated and very complicated man. All right, so besides slobbering all over your knuckles, what else can he do? <laughs> He's the tax accountancy profession. He's also a graduate of CCNYU University. Sounds like a goofball to me. <laughs> hey, what does that goofball think of your vocation? My what? Your chosen field of endeavor, child. Doesn't he know you're in the rent-a-body business? Oh, he thinks nothing of it. She ain't told him. <laughs> Oscar is too highly educated to be bothered with things like that. In the second place, he already knows that you're a dance hall hostess. Yes. You told him. Yes, I uh, told him. When? Next Sunday. <laughs> I'll tell him next Sunday, Coney Island. She just won't listen. That girl will not listen. <coughs> I wonder what they talk about <coughs> when they're alone. Talk. She was made for everything but conversation. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does all the talking. 